Today is episode number two of Trio Fitness OCR taking on military fitness challenges. Today I'm going to be attempting the USA Marine fitness test. Um, at least on paper, it is much more challenging in my opinion than the Army physical fitness test. Um, and in reality it is just more challenging. <laughs> You'll see why as um, I do it. It's four components that we're going to be doing. The fourth is somewhat questionable in the sense that uh, it's not on the current list per se, but it was recently added in and because I know it's been added in, I'm just going to do it anyway. <clears throat> um, so we'll go through this here. First I want to read a very small excerpt from military.com where they talk about the marine fitness test, but one thing that they say on there as to why it matters, uh, it says the service considers physical fitness an indispensable aspect of leadership. The habits of a self-discipline, excuse me, the habits of self-discipline required to gain and maintain a high level of physical fitness are inherent to the Marine Corps' way of life and must be a part of the character of every Marine. Marines who are not physically fit can be a detriment to the readiness and combat efficiency of their units. So point here being, uh, it's not being physically fit for being physically fit. There's a very specific reason and that is combat readiness. I just thought that was interesting. For the test, um, they have an option for the first exercise, it's either pull-ups or push-ups. However, to get a max score, which is what I'm going for, you have to do the pull-ups. Even if you did 150 push-ups um, and subbed out the pull-ups for push-ups, you still wouldn't get a max score. The max score you could get on that would be 70, to my understanding. It would not be a max score. So I'm going to be doing the pull-ups. I want to do them anyway because the Army did the push-ups and I want to try something different. But to get the max score, it has to be pull-ups for my age group. Uh, which is the 26 to 30 age group. The minimum to pass is five pull-ups, which I will get. The maximum to get a 100% score on it, or score of 100, is 23. I've never done more than 19 at a time, I believe, so take that how you want. Uh, the second exercise is crunches uh, on the Army test that I did last time, it was sit-ups. These crunches are a little different, they have a very specific form, um, and you'll see that as we go, but essentially you're only coming part of the way up, not all the way up. Your arms have to be in a very specific position, essentially your hands need to be on your biceps, and when you come back down, your shoulder blades have to touch the ground, your head doesn't. So it's a very short range of motion, it's very different from the sit-ups. I've never done these to my knowledge. Uh, so I've done crunches but not the same way that these are being done. For my age group to max that out I have to hit 115 which means I'm going to have to do them very 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 fast because it's a two minute time frame to do those. And actually I should go back and clarify for the pull-ups. Uh, there's no time limit and all the instructions and I read the actual instructions there was no time on it but it has to be done in one hanging session so you can't drop from the bar and then jump back up after some rest it's all in one uh, one go. Uh, right uh, to pass the crunches I have to do a minimum of 70 so 70 to 115 is the passing range 115 max is it. The most challenging part of this, and the part I am honestly not looking forward to because of how hard it's going to require me to work, is the, the run. So with the Army test it was two miles, with the Marine test it is three miles. And to max it out in my age group, and it's true, it's the highest max anyway from age 17 all the way up to age 40. The max, um, to max it out, you have to do it in 18 minutes or less, which means running six minute miles for three miles, and I've never done that. I've done sub sixes for two miles, but I've never done it for three. So uh, that's going to be a challenge. I'm going to try.
Uh, to pass it for my age group 26 to 30 is just 28 minutes, so that's super easy, but I want to max it. I'm going I'm to try real hard to max it. And then the last one, which is a new addition uh, from what I've read, it's a plank just to test core strength again. I guess they don't like their crunches alone anymore, but you just have to hold a four minute and 20 second plank with proper plank form. Uh, so it's going to be palms on the ground, about shorter width apart, flat back the whole time, no adjusting positions or changing anything or drooping or dipping or hiking your butt into the air or anything like that. Um, so it's going to be those four exercises, and uh, we'll see how they go. I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to do the plank at the end, because the only thing that I read that mentioned it had it last. Maybe it doesn't actually go last. I don't know that it really matters. I can do a 4 minute 20 second plank before or after a run, but um, I'm going to do it last just for sake of reference. So it's going to be the pull-ups first, then the crunches, then the run, then the plank. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Yeah. That was tough. 
Is it recording? Alright. Well, unfortunately, didn't make it in the time. I don't think I would have made it anyway, but there was, when I was running this direction, coming back, the wind was relatively strong. So, let me know if you can see it. Yep. So 18.50, 50 seconds short of 100%, I'll have to look up what that um, equates to score-wise. 6.17 average, which, um, actually, oh, that's a new 5K record for me, I think. <laughs> um, well, it's not quite a 5K, but I'm short, but anyway, all right, next up is the plank. Ready, set, go. Ten. Time. Time for results. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I did not max this out. So on the pull-ups, the max I could have done, um, one thing to note about the pull-ups, I could have done reverse grip, which is actually chin-ups, um, but I decided uh, to do pull-ups because I think they're harder. And as long as your shoulder width are wider, it counts. And you have to go all the way down, which is why you see my form the way it was. But I, regardless, I had to get 23 to max it, and I got 17. And 17 from my age group uh, gives me a score of... 80 points. So 80 for the pull-ups. Uh, for the crunches, the max I could have gotten was uh, 115 for my age group. And I did 81, I believe, uh, which gives me a pretty bad score, a score of 55. And then for the three-mile run, the max I could have or the, to max it out, I had to do 18 minutes or less, and I did it in 18... Kara, what was it? 1840? 1850. 1850. So, uh, for 1850, that's a score for my age group of 95. Uh, I'll put the total on the screen here so I don't have to add it up right now, but uh, far, from, far from 300. I guess I have areas of work if I want to be a Marine and max out the Marine test. I did the 4 minute and 20 second plank for the full 4 minutes and 20 seconds, so I passed that one. There's no scoring for that right now because it's either not yet implemented or just being implemented. Anyway, I couldn't find scoring for that if you pass, if you do less than 420 and you just get a lower grade or what, or if you just have to do 420. Anyway, um, that was much harder than the Army one. Uh, the pull-ups just went, went at the very end, all of a sudden I couldn't do another one. Um, I'd actually say the push-ups, compared to the army test, the push-ups are harder than the pull-ups, but that three-mile run was way harder and made every made the plank after it way harder and everything. But good test. Uh, if you're looking for a greater challenge as far as physical fitness goes, you should join the Marines over the regular army. 
we'll get into advanced units in the Army because we'll do a Ranger test, uh, Special Forces test, which might be very identical to the Ranger, so we'll see. Uh, SEALs have one that might require a pool, so we'll see about that. Uh, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, depending on what type of equipment they have, they have a very different fitness test. Anyway, that's it. See you guys later. I'm going to go get a drink.